Hey everyone, James with Fit Life Insight here. 19.4 has been released and this is a sprint that we're looking for. We at maximum will be doing 12 minutes of work and most people will be doing nine minutes of work in this open workout. So this is a sprint that we're looking for. It's divided directly in half. We start out with 10 power snatches and 12 burpees three times. So that's a total of what, 66 reps. That's not too many. As long as we pace out our burpees, we're allowed to step up now. Step up is an RX um, allowed uh, movement. So finding a good tempo on those burpees, not standing all the way up, but staying bent over, staying close to that bar is going to be very helpful at keeping our heart rate down on those. As well on the snatches, it really depends upon the athlete that we are. This is all about capacity. If we have the capacity to potentially finish or work through those later rounds of muscle ups, then we need to go out of the gate hot with those snatches. You need to be muscling those up if you have the ability to. If not, getting a good power snatch with a good hip extension is going to be fast and it's gonna allow you to do all 30 there. Um, followed that, we have three minutes of rest, three minutes to recover, and we're gonna hop into those muscle ups and that is where our capacity is going to be hurting on those muscle ups. So on those muscles, make sure that what I personally am going to do is I'm going to be opening up with a big set and then doing fast singles right after that just to save some of the grip. From there, I know a lot of people are trying to go 4-3-3. Three, three. A lot of people are trying to do something along the lines of 3-3-2-2. Three, three, two, two. As long as you break it up, I just make sure that you are not spending too long before hopping back on the bar. If you're doing sets of three, but you're taking 30 seconds rest, before you hop back on the bar, that's not what we're looking for. For my scaled athletes and for the people who are not quite looking to get as far into the muscle ups, maybe hit our first muscle up in this workout, well then this is a time where maybe we should pull back the intensity on that uh, first set there, that first couplet of snatches and burpees, just to be a little bit more primed. By no means do you want to take it out easy, but maybe you should pace out those burpees into sets of six, take a little bit of a rest there, uh, just so you're a bit more primed when you get to the pull-up bar there. Also for my scaled athletes doing pull-ups, again, this really depends on the capacity and where you're looking to get at in the workout. If you're looking to potentially finish and get far into that workout, then you need to be going, you know, getting uncomfortable, going balls out there in that first set. If we aren't looking to be finishing there, maybe hitting our first pull-ups or maybe just getting a few there, again, keep that heart rate down on the first couplet because you have that three minutes to rest as well and be prepared when you hop on the bar. Either way, this workout is very simple. It's all about capacity, capacity, capacity. How quickly can you do 72 burpees in 12 minutes essentially with some snatches and some um, pull-up bar work thrown in between there? Anyways, best of luck everyone uh, on doing this. Again, very simple. Make sure you get lots of cardio warm up to get your heart rate high before you get into this workout. Uh, you don't really have time to be establishing from a low heart rate to a high heart rate in just a minute or two when you get into those snatches and burpees. Anyways, have a great day. Kick butt this weekend and I'll see you for 19.5.